Hey guys, Cody Roth here at Vertical Life. Today I'm going to be walking you through one of the latest additions that you'll find on the management side of our Smart Climbing Gym system. And that addition is the dedicated route setting tab that you'll see here. This tab also features a filtering option to further enhance your planning and management uh, capabilities. Before I get into what it can do, I should probably give you just a little bit of additional information because some of you might be seeing our system for the first time. So I've selected sport climbing and here I've got my sport climbing broken down into three major areas and then further broken down into these five topos here. I've then got my list of routes organized by quick draw line and as I scroll through that list if I hover over a route it will highlight for me. Additionally over here I've got uh, expiration notifications so I can clearly see on quick draw line one that my route setters have dropped the ball and that these routes are due for a reset. These lags are all of the log descents that my climbs have. Over here, these are comments that my climbers have made. And then in this final column here, these are grade suggestions that my climbers have made. I can click on any of these for reference at any time. If I go back up here to statistics, I get a nice overview of uh, my inventory of routes and my volume at each given grade. All right, now that you've seen all that, let's see what this filtering option can do. So if I want to look at just one section of the gym, I'll select it here. If I want to look at a period of time, I can select it here. And then if I want to look at what a route setter's done within this area and within this frame of time, I can select them here. Now I've got stats on what Alex has set within this area of the gym. And I can also see that down here on his pink 510C that there's been uh, six grade suggestions. So if I want to reference those, I can. And I see that a few people have called it 10B, 10D. I also see star ratings, comments they've made. So based on what I see there, it seems that the grade's probably accurate because it's had 74 ascents, and with those comments being slightly inconsistent, it means the grade's probably perfect. If I want to reference the walls that he set on with one click here, I can do so. And also when it comes to our route setters guys, our system keeps a constant tally of routes they've set and also quality based on user feedback. So it makes it easy for you to look at a route setter's uh, productivity and progress at any given time. I'm gonna look at some other criteria that's available to me now. For example, if I want to look at a range of grades, I can select them from the table here. And by the way, guys, when it comes to grades, we accommodate all major global grading as well as any custom grading that you might have at your gym. So for example, if I want to look at all of the 510s within the section, I can select them here. And then furthermore, if I want to look at a specific style, I'll just choose it from the list here. So now I've got an overview of all of the 510s within this area that are classified as endurance 510s. If I want to look at the stats, with one click here, I get the stats. And then furthermore, if I want to look at my 510s that are classified as endurance 510s throughout the gym, I'll just remove this criteria here, and now I've got a breakdown of my endurance 510s throughout my entire facility. And clearly I could do within 510B that would be an endurance route, because everybody loves endurance. All right, guys, furthermore, you can also filter by color using our system so that you can ensure that you have a nice color distribution throughout your gym and also at various grades. And same goes for hold manufacturer. Before I close out this video, guys, I also just want to show you what our bouldering looks like. So our bouldering is defined by zones. You create the zones. And then within each zone, you also have your range of colors here. And same thing as I scroll through, if there's a boulder problem that interests me, the zone that it's in and the color of the problem will highlight for me. What I've shown you here, guys, is just one of many useful tools that you'll find within our management system. If you'd like to find out how easy it is to remove routes, to add routes, and to print route cards, just drop us a line and we'll be happy to get you access to what you see here. Additionally, whenever you set new routes using our system, all of the climbers get a notification that there's new routes via our app. Thanks for joining me, guys.